Hi, I'm Ashwant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is for someone so who has complaints about they are not successful in coding or they are not able to do well in coding. So I have heard from many people that so many many students as well as people already in software field that they are not successful in coding. So there are various reasons for that again so in this video i'm going to explain you so what what are the things that you need to modify uh, so that you will be good in coding or if if that not work for you so what are the alternatives for that so what is the alternative that you can do if you are not successful in coding and you want to be in that software field so yeah let's have an intro please Yeah, so many people have complaints that so they are not doing good in coding. So even though they they learn many programming languages, they are working for hours every day. Still, they are not able to find out that um, that flexibility on solving problems and solving code. So this is the problem that many of a uh, computer science students or many other students who want to enter into software field may face and mainly during the placements time so many people so will will get themselves into a confusion state that so what can we do if you are not good in coding but we still need a software job so the main reason for that is lack of awareness on how to start coding and how oh, how to actually go into that coding part so Coding is not that much art, but the art behind coding is problem solving. So if you are a good problem solver, if you are a good problem solver with good analytical thinking, then coding can be easy for you. So what what is the thing that you need to focus on is problem solving ability, but not uh, I mean the clean coding. So the I mean I will tell you the process on how you can be a good coder. So the first thing is programming language. Ultimately, you need you need a language to code, right? So you need a language, uh, I mean, to to make your thoughts into a into a form of code. So for that, you need a programming language. And I will say, one programming language is enough. So if you want to be good in programming, so if you're if you're already good in programming, then you can try out and experiment with multiple programming languages. But even without the perfection, people will jump into multiple programming languages. So if you know. Uh, if C is your primary programming language, first be, first get perfection in that. So and then you can uh, go out and explore Java, Python, and other things. So if you're not perfect in C, what is the what is the point of going in other programming languages? And like it was like you are collecting garbage inside your brain without having clarity of what actually it is. So first of all, learn a programming language. Um, I mean, perfectly. So. When you're perfect in a programming language, then you can explore options. So first thing is be good at at least one programming language. And the second thing is don't leave out a programming language with only learning by only learning the syntax. So the main thing behind every problem solving is data structures and algorithms. So get to know the data structures, how to implement linked list, tags, trees, and all those things. So it is the basic thing. So with the help of data structures, only you can solve complex problems in the real world. And even major product companies hire you with the knowledge of data structures, but not the syntax of the programming language. So make sure you are good in data structures or on your choice of programming language. So if you are good in C, so learn data structures uh, with the help of the C, but not other things. And this is thing. And this is one thing and other thing is uh, learn algorithms so learn greedy approach learn divide and conquer learn dynamic programming so all these algorithm patterns you have to learn so again so you can learn that of your own programming language so learn algorithms learn how to implement them using a particular programming language and if you are good in algorithms and data structures then you can solve any complex problem within minutes so this is the basic thing that people forgot and they just focus on programming language. So if you keep on learning multiple programming languages without having the knowledge on data structures and algorithms, there is no point of learning, right? So this is one thing that you need to understand um, if you want to be a good coder or 
like if you want to get into product based companies so the data structures and algorithms are must and if you forget this if you don't want uh, if you feel did if you feel this as a complex thing then there is another another alternative for you so i will tell you so it it is not completely likable by the programmers but yes coding is not only option uh, to enter into software field so you can learn multiple tools you can learn digital marketing so you can learn various things apart from coding so i mean to get a good job so you can learn uh, graphic designing you can learn these digital marketing techniques you can learn this seo you can learn using different tools so yeah there, there are various platforms again right so there are various cloud various cloud softwares where you can use it as a tools and there are various data visualization tools called tableau power bi and etc where you need you don't need a coding expertise uh, in order to get a job or in order to get involved into your work so you can also focus on any one of it but make sure you try first so if you want to be in a software field the primary thing is development so learn programming first and try to explore data structures and algorithms and if you still feel it difficult then choose any one of the later options that i have mentioned earlier but be prepared and be clear with what you are doing so don't get into coding if you believe if you are you are not good enough uh, to be a good programmer you can you can realize that within months right so if you start learning programming so like work for 6 6 months to 1 year so if you feel you are good in a programming learn data structures learn algorithms and after learning all those things if you still uh, feel that you are not good enough uh, you are not good enough to be a good programmer then skip that and concentrate on other field don't waste your time learning multiple programming languages if you feel you are not a perfect one to be a programmer so this is the thing that i want to i want to mention in this video so there is no problem on going with other fields every field has its own scope to grow so yeah so if you are someone who has good design skills so you have good color combinations and all those things you can be a good graphic designer by learning some photoshop skills and all those things and if you feel you are a good writer good blogger who can write anything um, spontaneously then you can become a content creator or a blogger and you you can opt into digital marketing side where you can you can story tell their products and you can copyright their products so there is a huge scope at that side also and even you i mean you are fancy about learning latest technologies but you are still difficult Uh, i mean in in implementing them so you can do is you can become a technical content writer as you are aware of all the technologies but you cannot implement you can write in your own words that what you know about a particular technology this is what technical content writing is and it has already a lot of scope in the market and still there are many tools uh, like uh, i mean tableau and power bi in which so if you have a ms office knowledge so you know how to uh i mean how to use excel in a smart way so there are various ways that you can uh, be a good data analyst through excel and also you can learn those tools so there are various options right so there are multiple options here so make use of that and if you feel coding is difficult html and css are two um, they are not programming languages but yes html and css are used for web designing basic web designing so if you have the knowledge of html and css you can be a good seo analyst or seo i mean associate so you can learn search engine optimization you can help uh, i mean products to build their brand by using your html and css skill so these are all the various options apart from the coding that you can utilize in order to i mean get a good placement so so i want to uh, make a summary of this video so if you feel you are not successful in coding and if you feel you want you are someone i mean who are still facing problems with uh, going on with coding part then there is no there is no problem in opting opting other fields so but try and try so learn programming learn data structures and algorithms if you still feel you are unable to get into it or if you are already working and facing problems with uh, not being a good developer try to explore other options and there are and there is a video of mine in my early video six side hustles to earn decent secondary income so you can opt one side hustle and concentrate on that and you can earn money and you can make that as a primary skill once you feel you're confident on that yes these are all the options that are available if you feel you are not a good programmer or a good coder so 
thank you for watching and if you are a first first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please hit the like button there and um, subscribe to my channel if you are not already and please share this video to someone whom you think they might be helpful it might be your friend or someone in your network and it will really boost me a lot in making more videos thank you thank you so much